Good evening, students. How are you? You are doing good, students. I welcome you. And every session is going to be interesting, important, and you are very intelligent. Have been participating in all the question answer sessions. That is the important point, students. So, guys, I hope. you are in good spirits you have energy you have energy you have inspiration you have motivation students keep yourself inspired keep yourself motivated and the chapter is very important work and energy students and we have told you last time that there are different uh, forms of the energy students we told you kinetic energy is there that is the energy due to motion of the body students and then we have told you something about the potential energy students so uh, when i said ki the, the mechanical energy which we are talking is consisting of two parts students what we told you what we told you students that you are aware that mechanical energy mechanical energy students consists of two parts we said there is a kinetic energy plus potential energy students now we have discussed with you whenever a body is moving students it has kinetic energy and kinetic energy and can you tell me students what is potential energy which we told you last time what is potential energy students when a body will have a potential energy what is the question we have asked you what is potential energy what is your answer student you are getting 30 seconds to answer the question fast students you know about it what is potential energy student how do we define potential energy is due to potential energy is due to what students fast what is your answer potential energy is due to Sir, so, um, uh -huh. sir, so potential energy is possessed by an object um, by virtue of its position or yes. configuration, yes. and it is a relative term which can be chosen to refer re reference the position where it is zero. Yes, very good answer given by Vidhi. So that was the point, students. I wanted to see that you have got energy. You are not sleeping. You are interacting with me. These are live session, students. your participation is absolutely essential for our teaching to become success and for our motivation also that we keep on working hard for you students and we try to find methods so that we can teach you better and better every day so the energy by virtue of position or configuration or change in shape of the body is uh, what we said is a potential energy students and can you give me some examples of potential energy students potential energy what happens students examples of potential energy examples of potential energy students you have 30 seconds what type of examples you are giving to me potential energy where is the potential energy student you already have a picture on the board students which is telling you uh, that what is happening here that we are lifting an object from a ground to the height h students then what will happen what will happen does the object gets potential energy yes or no so what we are doing you are saying that this is our ground student and this is an object student object student you know when it is on the ground student it it has a weight it has a weight the force which is acting downward student here is equal to what mass of the object and acceleration due to gravity g students mg you know mg is the weight is a force which is acting downward which is a weight of the object yes or no yes or no tell me if any object is lying on the ground what is the weight m into g m is the mass of the object student m is the mass of object and there is a gravitational force student which is attracting the object towards itself and that acceleration due to gravity is g which we may consider 10 meter per second square for our calculations of numericals if it is not given otherwise 9.8 given okay 
no problem so students uh, if you are having a body here if you lift it to a height student if you lift it to a height student if this is lifted from the ground student ground student and you are lifting it to a height student you are lifting it to this height h now what has happened student what has happened the object was on the ground you have lifted it to a height h will you have to do some work for this yes or no you will have to do some work for it yes or no fast yes sir as i said student work and energy have strong relationships like brother and sister work is done and you have been able to lift the object from ground to height h student and as soon as it acquires a height student now it has got gravitational potential energy what we call it student what type of energy we are saying this is a example of what we say student it has got gravitational potential energy yes or no fast keep on interacting with me yes so, sir okay very good vidhi so you are helping me a lot because i will gain energy and that is important that our interaction is live one is to one interaction with the students so i apply i do some work students and by doing a work i lift the object to a height h students now what happens as soon as you have done work on the body student you have given energy to the body and that energy gets stored in the body in the form of what we are saying potential energy so the work which was done by you student in lifting the box or the object from ground to a height h has become stored in the form of energy which we are saying gravitational potential energy therefore you have done work on it you have done work on it student and uh, unless i do work uh, the, the object cannot move so how much work i have to do student how much work i have to do for work you have to apply a force student what is the work formula student i want to derive student what i am trying to do today i am going to derive the formula of derive the formula of potential gravitational potential energy student gravitational potential energy gravitational potential energy theek hai this formula we are deriving when you are lifting an object from ground state to a height at students then you are saying work has to be done how much work has to be done what is the formula of work student tell me what is the formula of work which we told you students force into what is the formula of the work fast what is the formula of the work which we did last in the last lecture student work is equal to force into displacement yes sir in the direction of the force applied students so uh, that means here a force is acting on this object to move it now the question is what is this force students here what is the force the minimum force which you will have to apply will be equal to weight of the object yes or no if this is a object i have said ki m is the mass of this and it is attracted by the earth by a force acceleration due to so the weight of the object is m into g that is the minimum force student that is the force which must be applied to lift the object yes or no it cannot be less than the weight of the object if you apply a weight less than if you apply a force less than the force or the weight of the object can you lift the object tell me will you be able to lift if you apply a force less than this the answer is no so no sir okay so whatever is the weight student that force we must be able to apply so we apply a force then force is equal to here m into g students and what is the distance displacement here d here is student h you can move from 10 meter 20 meter 30 meter keep on changing 
then what is the formula of the work student m into g into h so this is the work student this is the work which we have to do in order to lift the object from 0 to height h now this work is stored in the form of gravitational potential energy as soon as this box is here object is here therefore student this is nothing but also equal to also equal to what we said this is equal to student gravitational potential energy what it is equal to students this is our gravitational potential energy students gravitational potential energy therefore what we are saying that the work which was done is equal to lifting the box is nothing the work done on the object is equal to mgh then an energy equal to mgh unit is gained by the object so the object has gained how much energy how much energy is gained by the object energy object gained energy how much student equal to mgh the same as the work so this is our potential energy student e potential so the potential energy which we have calculated here is our gravitational potential energy as you can see in the formula student here also we have shown it that w is equal to m g into h that means student supposing i take the object to height h1 and if i lift the box to another height student h this is this height you can see is bigger than this this supposing this height is h2 h2 is more than h1 student then what will happen what will happen students as i increase the height what will happen to the potential energy will it increase or decrease students potential energy can increase or decrease students as the Sorry, height increase. increase the potential energy will increase that means once the energy is stored na this body is capable of doing the work whenever a body has ability to do the work that is what we are saying energy is the ability to do the work it is not necessary that uh, if if a if a body has if an object has energy it will do the work it may do at some other point students so for example i said ki i am sitting on the chair if i am sitting on the chair student am i doing any work am i doing any work if i am sitting on the chair yes or no fast tell me no sir no sir but do i have energy or not yes okay i have energy but i am not using it any time any time my energy is there inside the body because the food i have been eaten in the morning has given me energy i can use it to do work any time i want it students i can just get up from my chair and start doing some work uh, some displacement can be there i can walk i can run student so whenever i i that means i will be using my energy so when work is done student on an object energy gets stored in the object right so that energy if an object has it can use any time students as you have seen in a cell there is an energy student Uh, when you use it uh, to light the torch student you are using it so there is a potential energy stored inside that in the car student uh, when, when the car is at rest what is happening the headlights have stored potential energy you start it open the headlights on then the potential energy is converted into light energy students so see the energy is there energy is there by virtue of the position or by virtue of the configurations you have a spring you have a spring student you have seen a spring what happens students if you uh, take a spring is like this students what is happening what is happening now if you compress it compress it student compress it 
you will have to do work to compress it you will have to do work to compress it and after compression student the spring comes like this is a compressed form of this spring student you have compressed it to this from position a to position b student now a you have done work on this student now there is a energy stored in the spring student which will can do work it can do work now uh, it it can it has got energy stored and any time it can do work as soon as you release it the spring can regain its original shape or as you have seen when you do winding uh, a key key winding in a toy car but happens there is a spring in the car students you are screwing that spring 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 compressing it compressing it and then you release it the car runs students so what happened the energy got stored the work was done that got converted into kinetic energy the car started moving the toy car started moving so student here we have been able to store the energy uh, as the object has been lifted to a height how much energy is stored in the object student that is our gravitational potential energy which is equal to m into g into a so this is the derivation this is the derivation of the potential energy students now i am saying that supposing i lift the object from this ground student i am saying this is my point a to b student a, a straight then what happens supposing i change the path of this what i do i lift the box up to this stage then i take the box here student then i take the box here then i take the box here then i take the the object here then i take the object here then i go to the final state now if i change the path by which i am shifting the object from ground to height h student to height h student what will happen will the potential energy change or remain the same here also i have shown it this is a to b student path 1 now i have taken another path to reach the height h student to reach the same height height is the same but path is the different tell me what happens student potential energy will be same or different path different sir it will be different path is different height is same will the potential energy same or different tell me sir it will be same it will be what is your answer students what is the formula of potential energy i just derived before you m into g into h if h is the same then is there any change in potential energy no sir so what we are saying student it will be same yes the you see potential energy is not changing student once it is there when the height is the same the potential energy does not depend on the path student it is path independent uh, and you can see it only depends on the h so long as the height is the same potential energy will be same it doesn't matter you can follow any different path student the work done may be different if you follow different paths but the potential energy is not changing it is independent of the path this is a very important point student question was asked on this that if i change the path but i go the same height will the potential energy change the answer is no potential energy is absolutely clear formula student mgh it does not depend on the path these type of properties are conservative properties they are path independent student they do not decide they do not depend on the path okay very good so this is the derivation of potential energy which potential energy i am talking of gravitational potential energy students that energy has got stored in the object now we are coming to problems on this numerical numericals are coming before you on the screen is a numerical on gravitational potential energy students gravitational potential energy you have been given 1 to 2 minutes 
to answer the question your time starts now students find the energy possessed by an object of mass 10 kg when it is at a height of 6 meter above the ground you are given the value of g 9.8 meter per second square students you have 1 minute to answer the question students let us see what is your answer coming already you know that what has happened this is an object student the mass is given 10 kg this is my ground and this is now at a height of student at a height of what is the height now student h How much height? Six meter. So G value is given. Then what is the formula, student? What is the formula of potential energy is equal to students? M into G into H. Okay. Thank you, Anya. Your uh, formula is absolutely correct. When you put the values of M ten kg, G value is nine point eight meter. Second inverse square and what is the height? Six. All are SI unit students. Then what is the answer coming? What will be that? Ninety eight into six. Ninety eight into six kilogram meter square. Second inverse two students. How much is it coming? Potential energy students. Five eighty-eight kilogram meter square second inverse is a joule student. Five eighty-eight joules. Sir, joules. Joules. ठीक है. Five eighty-eight joule is the correct answer. All right. Next question before you students. An object of mass twelve kg is at a certain height above the ground. If the potential energy of the object is four eighty joules, find the height at which the ob object is with respect to the ground students. You are given one minute to two minute to answer the question. Your time starts now. So four meter is the answer. Okay, Vidhi. Uh, 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 what is the, uh, your answer? Anya, coming. Sir, four meter per second. Okay, so great, guys. So well, good answer given in such a short period of time. Okay, M G H student. Potential energy is given four eighty joules. You did faster than me, students. I have to work it out. You have already worked it out, and units are also written ten. Meter second inverse. This makes our job easy, student. A potential energy is given. Mass is twelve kg. Height we don't know. We have to calculate, student. H. So what is then? <coughs> potential energy is equal to four eighty joules is equal to student. Mass is twelve kg and G is ten meter. Second inverse height we have to calculate what is the joule student kilogram meter square second inverse so units because they will cancel out so what is then four eighty divided by twelve into uh, this is a ten one twenty and you have a kilogram meter second inverse into height cancel cancel. Cancel second inverse one meter cancel so you are left with h is equal to four meter is the correct answer. Thank you very much for helping me solving the question, students. Uh, one only thing my request to the student is that you always put all the units. They will help us a lot. Practice makes a man perfect. You know it. More and more units you will start putting in the questions. 
answers will be right students they will help us okay student another question on the screen coming for you what will be the potential energy of 1 kg mass kept at a height of 5 meter student one minute only for this question <clears throat> potential energy student now you are getting used to the questions so how easy questions are there in the exam student for you potential energy you can easily answer the question and get full marks you are again and again writing the same formula m into g into h mass is how much student 1 kg g is how much student 10 meter second inverse So um, fifty joules. Okay, correct answer five meter. So fifty joules is the potential energy. Therefore, now <coughs> you have got an idea that uh, how much weight if you lift to a what height, how much joules of energy is there. So five meter, uh, five fifty joules is there five meter. The table on which we are studying how much meter is that from the ground student. and the book which you are keeping on the table what is the mass of that book you can calculate the potential energy possessed by a book on the table if the table is 1 meter high student you can calculate that value and you will know how much is there if it falls on your feet whether it will hurt you badly or not then you can see how much energy it has that because it will give that energy to the object when it falls on the ground it has stored 50 joules of energy a bag of wheat student weighs 200 kg now this is important 200 kg mass to what height should it be raised so that potential energy is 98000 joules student 98000 joule and this is 50 joules student see that will be quite a good amount of energy students so 5 meter is the answer how much 5 meter 5 meter okay so a uh, 5 meter students potential energy is equal to m into g into h height we have to calculate the this is 9800 joule student <coughs> mass is 200 kg 9.8 meter second inverse into height so this is our kilogram meter plus square second inverse student So that is our joule. How much it is coming height? Five meter. Five meter. Now you can see this. This was also five meter. This also five meter. But this, because the mass is two two hundred kg students, then this object, this wheat bag has a lot of energy. Wheat bag. See. so this bag if it is at a 5 meter height student 5 meter height this is your wheat bag wheat bag student it has wheat how much 200 kg and if it falls student on on the head of somebody this is your head student then what will happen so what will happen tell me now the story is important see you are on the ground supposing and 200 kg this falls How much potential potential energy is there? It has nine thousand eight hundred joules. It will con it will transfer it to your head student. <laughs> Then what will happen? It will be smashed. And here was a book student or whatever is that only ten one uh, kg mass. that will transfer 50 joules this is going to transfer 9800 joules student lot of energy so work and energy work and energy you said they are interrelated student work has to be done and when work is done the energy will get stored in the body and without energy work cannot be done students got it so so important relationship work and energy work and energy every time we are talking of that student see so it's a interesting topic is there okay students uh, uh, you know that there are various forms of energy are the various forms of energy interconvertible that is my question question is to you are various 
फॉर्म्स ऑफ एनर्जी इंटर कन्वर्टेबल यस और नो आंसर द क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट्स थर्टी सेकेंड्स कैन यू कन्वर्ट वन फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी इन टू अनदर स्टूडेंट दैट इज अवर क्वेश्चन टेल मी कैन यू कन्वर्ट वन फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी इन टू अनदर आने Yes, sir. We can. Okay, come. very good. Another. Oh, you are eating food. What happens? Yeah, that goes inside the body. After that, what is there? The food is no longer there. But what has happened, student? There is some conversion of energy. You have, you know, the reaction of respiration, glucose, glucose plus oxygen, carbon dioxide, water, and heat energy, students. you see the photosynthesis student photosynthesis you have experienced photosynthesis photosynthesis student what happens how the plants are manufacturing their food student plants student green colored plants what they are doing what is happening how they produce their food student how the plants produce their food students what happens through the process of photosynthesis photosynthesis what reaction takes place student in photosynthesis what they are absorbing <coughs> carbon dioxide is there water sunlight sunlight and chlorophyll green pigment student oh then what is happening the sun energy sun energy is coming and you see here i have taken in this my sun and sun and what is growing in your home you are growing plant student plants you can see a plant coming out so this photosynthesis process uh, and this is a growing of the plant sun energy sun energy how the plants are making their own food students plants are making their own food okay uh, so where the energy is coming from student you can see where the energies are coming so many interesting things we have shown it here this apple you you are eating those fruits and all those and you are now what is the type of energy here the food you are eating they will they are chemical compound student glucose and all those carbohydrates inside the body they produce energy and anya is bicycling see how fast she is bicycling has there been energy conversion students tell me which energy conversion has taken place food you are eating student and you are moving on a bicycle so chemical to mechanical energy here is a cell student cell and in the torch you have put the cell light it up what happens chemical energy is converted into light energy student and what happens lighting a bulb or electric you are this is your lamp student so electrical energy light energy and this is a petrol student petrol petrol you are putting in the car and then you are driving it what was a petrol stored student chemical energy petrol is a mixture of hydrocarbons in, in your home also you have a natural gas which you are burning student and you are burning it produces heat and you are cooking your food student so chemical energy mechanical energy sun energy you are growing the plant student you have electrical energy you are using a toaster student toaster heater so students what we are trying to show you that one form of energy can be converted into another form of energy yes or no tell me yes sir so this is the most important thing students if energy cannot be converted then life would be become very miserable we will not be able to use it student because energy can be converted from one form to another therefore that is how we live on this planet earth students comfortably it is winter time then you will switch on your heater students and you you will convert one form of energy and that heat, heater electrical energy is giving you heat energy student your room becomes hot and in the summer you are using ac students because the temperature is very high so you are cooling so see the different conversions which are taking place inside the uh, your home also 
uh, all types of conversion, heating devices, electrical, electrical energy into heat energy. And you see your washing machine is working student, electrical energy, then mechanical oh, rotation is going on. Collats are being rotated, rotated. Mixy, grinder, all this you are using student, one form of energy into another. So chemicals in food give us mechanical energy. Sunlight provides light energy for the tree to make its own food student. And chemical gasoline provides energy for the motion of the car student. Electrical energy of the plug creates heat to run it student. All these are good examples of various forms of energies can be interconverted. Okay, students. Yes. Okay, very good, very good students. You are so good, I love to teach you. That is the point, student. The reason I teach is because I love it. It is not my question, it is my passion. And I collect a lot of information and data for you so that you understand everything. Our, we are not mugging anything, we are learning students. You are learning science, you are, are becoming scientists and you can be the future doctors of the country students. And you can see you learn everything with me. They see various types of the energy diagrams are shown here, student, that how many types of energies you are using in, a, in your own country, uh, mechanical energy. You see, this is a, something is running, student, something starts moving. Potential and kinetic energy, what you talk of, students. Uh, thermal energy, student, this is a cup of tea, see, hot, hot heat energy. Nuclear, nucleus is split, student. Nuclear fuel student, it will produce nuclear energy. Chemicals are mixed energy is being produced uh, just as you've seen. Uh, the fuel is being burnt student. Petrol is burnt in the car student, adds a chemical energy. Uh, electromagnetic energy student, the light emits, uh, the sun is emitting electromagnetic radiations and you will see there's a visible part of that. Ultraviolet rays, infrared, uh, IR, uh, microwave oven and all that you are using. They are all examples of electromagnetic radiation student, sonic energy, uh, you, uh, sound energies you are using student, uh, ring a bell, sound energy, gravitational energy. We just told you how the objects are falling from a height student, water falling from a big height, it creates energy, kinetic energy. This is moving, 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 kinetic potential energy, ionization energy student when you heat the atoms, what happens? Electrons are removed, ionization. So how do green plants produce food student? Where do they get their energy from? Why does the air move from one place to another? How the fuel such as coal, petroleum are formed student? And water cycle, what type of energy conversions are taking place is a thing for you to think about them. And next time you will tell me if you answer on this, think, 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 that is our question, student, energy, energy, energy. Work energy, without work energy, we cannot live. Without energy, I cannot survive. Without energy, I cannot teach you. And uh, I have to do some work also to live. So as I said, work energy, work energy are the two brother-sister relations, which will always be there. Our life revolves around them. Okay, now, <clears throat> Some more examples for you to think. Hydroelectric power plant, water falls on the turbines from a height. This turn rotates the turbines and generate electricity. You are aware of hydro, hydroelectric power plants. You are aware of hydroelectric power plant students. In your country, you have hydroelectric power plants. What happens? Hydro, hydro means water. Water falls from a bigger to a lower height. So there was a potential energy stored in the water if it is falling from a higher height. Turbines are rotated, electricity is generated. So potential energy of the water is converted into kinetic energy. Kinetic energy means it moves the turbine and then that kinetic energy is converted into electrical energy. See, potential energy into kinetic energy student and kinetic energy into electrical energy. So you guys are very intelligent students. Man is very intelligent. He is able to convert different forms of energy for his own comfort and requirement. What is your requirement? According to that, you will devise you see, machines and systems so that you can convert one form of energy into another. Loudspeaker, 
loud speaker why do you what do you do in loud speaker student in your country lot of loud speakers are there electrical energy is converted into sound energy microphone you are using sound energy converted into electrical energy generators you are using mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy and fuels are converting chemical energy into heat and light all these are examples you are familiar therefore students both of us agree that there are various forms of the energy and they can be converted next question is student can i create energy or can i destroy energy any form of energy tell me can you create or destroy any form of energy students tell me what is your answer can we create or destroy any form no, of no sir no sir okay very good then how what i have tried to show you what is happening in all this is only one thing what one so thing? it is only transforming yes. from one form to energy to another therefore energy is only transformed from one form to another and the total energy will remain the same the that is what we are saying law of conservation of energy students nothing will disappear or appear but one thing will disappear it will appear in another form nothing is disappearing you can see whatever is existing it will go from one form to another form it cannot disappear nothing can be created also but only conversions are going on one form of energy is being converted into another form of energy a child is born student and after the death what will happen our body will be burned and we will be converted into gases and ashes and bones and a, a conversion is taking place nothing is disappearing but one form converting into another form that is how the life works that is now important what is law of conservation of energy student what is law of conservation of energy they will ask you this question in the paper student give me the definition of law of conservation of energy student one minute for you one minute for you jaldi bataiye answer what is the meaning of law of conserve conservation mean what conserve kya what is conserve energy is conserved so we are saying energy gets transformed but the total energy will remain the same students total energy will be the same you why i'm saying there are two energy supposing kinetic plus potential energy this is my total energy this is going to the same this becomes less then this will become more or this becomes less then this will become more but the sum of the two what happens sum of the two will be the same constant yes or no there can there are so many forms of energy it is not only kinetic potential but i am just making all these into two forms so students we can say total energy remains unchanged and it can only be converted from one form to another energy can neither be created nor be destroyed total energy before and after transformation remains the same i hope you have noted this because they will ask you in the paper what is conservation of energy you can make a definition yourself also students can you okay give your definition of what is law of conservation of energy student what is law of conservation of energy tell me what is law of conservation of energy students now here we have something very important for you the uh, what i said that total energy will remain the same but kinetic and potential so, हाँ हाँ बोलो यस सर इट स्टेट्स दैट एनर्जी कैन नीदर बी क्रिएटेड नॉर बी डिस्ट्रॉयड बट इट कैन बी ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड फ्रॉम वन फॉर्म टू अनदर ओके नाउ गिव मी एग्जांपल ऑफ कन्वर्शन ऑफ काइनेटिक एनर्जी इनटू पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एग्जांपल स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर यू 
examples before you students what happens that supposing a body has actually we can say bodies have two types of energies which we are studying one is kinetic other potential and that some of this is what we are saying a constant a constant and if uh, if you said the object is at a height it falls back what happens student when the object is falling there is a potential energy potential energy and it is changing into kinetic 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 it is moving down then what is happening for example for example if this this was the object this was the object student it is falling free fall this is coming here 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 and finally here what is happening this was having a potential energy here here when it is sitting like this potential energy no kind kinetic energy you are saying is zero here because it is not moving but as soon as it starts falling what happens there is a potential here it has both potential energy and kinetic energy and the potential energy is decreasing as it height becomes less and kinetic energy is increasing so there is a interconversion of potential into kinetic and just at the ground just a flow at the just a below level above the ground it has maximum kinetic energy and minimum potential energy and finally what happens at at this point the potential energy almost zero and kinetic energy almost maximum so here you are seeing that there is a constant interconversion of kinetic and potential but but you student told me some of the kinetic energy plus potential energy will always be constant yes or no so when this will become zero then all of this is converted into potential energy and when potential energy is zero then this is converted into kinetic energy that's what we are saying student yes or no tell me assuming the frictional forces to be negligible frictional because air has a friction we are assuming that to be negligible students so this is happening here you have seen a roller coaster student roller coaster tell me did you ever ride a roller coaster bolo kabhi roller coaster pe chade hain dekhe hai tumne roller coaster yes bahut fast chalte hain wo aise zig zag mein upar niche upar niche aise ulte seedhe bahut chakkar aa jate hain wo tumhe belt you they tie you with belt and they move it student it is so fast kitna 1 minute mein chakkar aa jate hain pata lagta hai bahut high speed pe upar niche jate hain to what is the प्रिंसिपल ऑन विच दे आर वर्किंग स्टूडेंट ये जो कार्स होती है जिसपे आप बैठते हैं स्टूडेंट कार्स ऑफ ए रोलर कोस्टर रीच देर मैक्सिम कानेटिक एनर्जी वेन एट द बॉटम एंड वेन दे स्टार्ट राइजिंग द कानेटिक एनर्जी बिगिन टू बी कन्वर्टेड टू ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी द सम ऑफ कानेटिक एंड पोटेंशियल रिमेन द कॉन्स्टेंट इग्नोरिंग लॉसिस ड्यू टू फ्रिक्शन बोलो बात समझ में आई सही है मजा आएगा आप तो बैठने में अब बैठोगे तुम्हें पता लग जाएगा कि वच एनर्जी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज टेकिंग प्लेस देखो यहां पर आप बैठे हैं सी यू आर आनया एंड विधि यू आर सिटिंग हियर ये ये टॉप है बताओ यहां पर क्या है पोटेंशियल एनर्जी हाई है या पोटेंशियल काइनेटिक एनर्जी हाई है एट द टॉप इफ यू आर नॉट मूविंग देन तो काइनेटिक एनर्जी जीरो हो गई पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज मैक्सिम बिकॉज हाइट यू कैन सी ना इट इज एट ए हाइट but as you you start rolling down what happens potential energy is getting converted into kinetic energy potential energy decreases kinetic energy increases badhti gayi badhti gayi aur fir kya hua ye yahan par ground par aa gaye when you are at the ground student what happens height zero ho gayi tell me yahan pe height zero hai dekh rahe ho yahan par student height hai theek hai h This is your ground student. ये ground पर आ गए ठीक है students. अब बताओ कि at the ground what happens? Potential energy तो फिर कितनी हो गई zero और kinetic energy फिर बहुत high. That is why it will be able to. That is why the car will be able to move student up. If kinetic energy is not high, it cannot climb. Tell me, can it climb? कैसे climb करेगी फिर? समझ गए? बात समझ में आ गई student? ये माउंटेन से ऐसे चल रहे हैं तुम देख रहे हो ये ऐसे रोलर कोस्टर चल रहे हैं 
अब बताओ कि हाउ दे दे विल स्टूडेंट ऐसे चल रहे हो तो दिस इज द टॉप यहां पर जब कार है आपकी तो पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज वेरी हाई काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑलमोस्ट जीरो बट एज इट गेट्स इन टू डाउन डाउन वट काइनेटिक पोटेंशियल एनर्जी लेस 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 एंड काइनेटिक एनर्जी एंड यहां पर क्या हुआ कि पोटेंशियल एनर्जी क्या हो गई स्टूडेंट तुम कह रहे हो जीरो हो गई तो काइनेटिक एनर्जी मैक्सिमम हो गई ऑल द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज कन्वर्टेड टू काइनेटिक एनर्जी तो फिर कार क्या करेगी अब आपकी जो कार है स्टूडेंट वो ऊपर चढ़ेगी देखो ये कार फिर ऊपर तभी चढ़ेगी ये इफेक्ट हैज लॉट ऑफ काइनेटिक फिर ये ऊपर जाएगी फिर नीचे इस तरह से ये चल रही है तो यहां पर स्टूडेंट हमने आपको दिखाया कि देर इज ए इंटर कन्वर्शन ऑफ काइनेटिक एनर्जी इन टू पोटेंशियल एनर्जी लेकिन लेकिन स्टूडेंट टोटल एनर्जी इज कंजर्व टोटल एनर्जी इज कंजर्व यस और नो टेल मी तो टोटल एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ दी काइनेटिक एनर्जी प्लस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ऑलवेज तो ये तो कॉन्स्टेंट है दिस इज कॉन्स्टेंट This is what we are saying is the law of conservation of the uh, energy students. So, यहाँ पर constant continuous transformation होती है kinetic to potential, potential to kinetic. So you are going up hill, down hill, up hill, down hill. और इस तरह से roller coaster तुमने ऐसे भी देखे, ऐसे, 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 ऐसे भी देखे. बहुत ही difficult वाले. तो यहाँ पे आप car car में आप बैठे तो कैसे वो move करती है student? देखो move कर रही है. so you can see the the principle which we are using here is interconversion of energy one form of energy kinetic energy is being converted into potential and potential energy is being converted into kinetic but the total energy remains the constant right or wrong bolo jaldi batao samajh mein aaya yes sir maza aaya yes sir are hamari class mein maza nahi aayega to fir kya karoge maza to karna hai humne We we should have fun, we should have have fun, and and learn learn do all the numerical. देखो, खेल, खेल कर कर देख लेते हैं इसका क्या मतलब है अब मैं ये कह रहा हूँ कंसिडर ए सिंपल एग्जाम्पल ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ मास एम इज मेड टू फॉल फ्रीली स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम ए हाइट एच यहाँ पर एक ऑब्जेक्ट है स्टूडेंट ये हाइट एच से इट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस इज माई ग्राउंड स्टूडेंट ये माई ग्राउंड है स्टूडेंट तो ऑब्जेक्ट जो है ये फॉल कर रहा है तो ये यहाँ पर आया इफ द ऑब्जेक्ट कम केम हियर स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम ये मैं कह रहा हूँ दिस इज माय पॉइंट ए ये बी पर आया फिर सी पर आया स्टूडेंट फिर ये ऑब्जेक्ट डी पर आया और ये ग्राउंड से बिल्कुल थोड़ा ऊपर ये ई पे आया इस तरह से ये ऑब्जेक्ट फॉल कर रहा है तो ऑब्जेक्ट नीचे आ रहा है स्टूडेंट नीचे आ रहा है अब क्या होगा कि एज इट इज फॉलोइंग स्टूडेंट जब ये ऊपर था स्टूडेंट हाइट पर था एट स्टार्ट में क्या था स्टूडेंट स्टार्ट जब ये हुआ ऑब्जेक्ट तो जब ये मैं ये कह रहा हूं ये मेरा जीरो पॉइंट है जीरो पॉइंट है ओ पॉइंट है ओ पॉइंट है ओ ए पर था जब ये ऑब्जेक्ट ओ ए पर था स्टूडेंट ए यहां से जब ए स्टार्ट हुआ तो यहां पर इसकी यू की वैल्यू मतलब विलासिटी इसकी जीरो थी ये रेस्ट पर था रेस्ट पर होगा तो विलासिटी जीरो है तो काइनेटिक एनर्जी इसकी क्या थी जीरो और इसकी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी हाउ मच वाज़ द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एम जी एच ठीक है और ये मैक्सिमम थी दिस इज मैक्सिमम अब ये जब ए टू बी आ गया ऑब्जेक्ट ए टू बी आ गया तो क्या हुआ अब ये ग्राउंड से ग्राउंड पे ये ओ है तो ये ओ बी पर आ गया अब क्या हुआ कि इसके पास काइनेटिक एनर्जी भी है क्योंकि वेलोसिटी इट विल मूव विद वेलोसिटी यू वन तो इसकी काइनेटिक एनर्जी तुमने कहा हाफ एम यू वन स्केयर है साहब इस पॉइंट पर इसकी काइनेटिक एनर्जी वेलोसिटी यहाँ पे यू वन है तो इसकी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी अब कितनी हो गई स्टूडेंट चेंज हो गई एम जी तो सेम है ये हाइट कितनी है ये मैं कह रहा हूँ कि ये पहले एच थी अब तुमने कह दिया जो ओ बी ओ बी की हाइट जो है स्टूडेंट वो एच वन मान लू तो एम जी एच वन हो गया तो अब काइनेटिक एनर्जी भी है पोटेंशियल एनर्जी भी है तो दोनों का सम अगर मैं करूंगा तो वो सेम ही आएगा जो ये वेरी वैल्यू है टोटल तो पहले जो टोटल एनर्जी थी स्टूडेंट टोटल एनर्जी जो शुरू में थी मेरे पास वो कितनी थी एम प्लस जीरो काइनेटिक एनर्जी जीरो थी 
और अब कितनी आई टोटल एनर्जी सेकेंड पॉइंट पर ये फर्स्ट फर्स्ट ले रहा हूं सेकेंड पॉइंट पर ये हाइट एच पर है दिस इज एट हाइट एच स्टूडेंट अब हाइट कितनी है मेरी एच वन एच वन हाइट पर क्या हुआ ये एम जी एच वन आई है और काइनेटिक एनर्जी हाफ एम यू वन स्केर आई तो ये दोनों ही है एट दिस पॉइंट वो था दिया बट पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ज्यादा है काइनेटिक एनर्जी अभी भी कम है लेकिन यहां पर कुछ एनर्जी जो है देख रहे हैं जितना यहाँ कम हुआ जितना अमाउंट ऑफ काइनेटिक एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस्ड इज इक्वल टू लॉस इन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी मैं ये कह रहा हूं जितना डिक्रीज हुआ पोटेंशियल एनर्जी स्टूडेंट जितना डिक्रीज इन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी हुआ उतना ही इनक्रीज इन काइनेटिक एनर्जी हुआ बोलो सही है गलत है बताओ वट एवर काइनेटिक एनर्जी डिक्रीज इज सेम अमाउंट ऑफ पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इनक्रीज इज तो कनेक्ट पोटेंशियल एनर्जी डिक्रीज काइनेटिक एनर्जी इंक्रीज सेम मैग्नीट्यूड सेम अमाउंट टोटल तो सेम ही रहा स्टूडेंट तो टोटल एनर्जी जो होती है स्टूडेंट वो किसी भी पॉइंट पे आप कैलकुलेट कर लेंगे वो सेम रहेगी क्या रहेगी सेम रहेगी एट एनी पॉइंट स्टूडेंट मैं ये कह रहा हूं एट एनी पॉइंट एट एनी पॉइंट वेन दिस ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर ए फ्री फॉल ऑफ दब्जेक्ट फॉर ए फ्री फॉल ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट स्टूडेंट टोटल एनर्जी will remain constant that will be equal to kinetic energy plus potential but maximum was on the top as you come to the ground student what happened near just near the ground nearest point to the ground what happened kinetic energy maximum ho gayi or potential energy minimum hai मिनिमम स्टूडेंट्स इस तरह से हम ये कह रहे हैं कि ये इंटर कन्वर्शन होती रहेगी और तो मैं ये कह रहा हूँ जब एच जीरो हो गया एच जीरो हो गया तो क्या हुआ फिर ये पोटेंशियल एनर्जी मिनिमम हो गई और काइनेटिक एनर्जी मैक्सिमम हो गई स्टूडेंट देयर फॉर वी कैन से दैट एट एनी पॉइंट एट एनी पॉइंट स्टूडेंट आई कैन कैलकुलेट दैट दस आई विल एट एनी पॉइंट यू कैन कैलकुलेट द काइनेटिक एनर्जी एंड द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी यू विल फाइंड द सम विल ऑलवेज रिमेन द सेम एंड इग्नोरिंग द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द एयर स्टूडेंट्स क्योंकि एयर भी रेजिस्टेंस ऑफर करती है एयर क्या करती है रेजिस्टेंस ऑफर करती है <coughs> तो ये आपको सारा समझ में आ गया स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू एंजॉयड द लेक्चर तो हमने आपको दो बातें बताई पोटेंशियल एनर्जी और वी टोल्ड यू द लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी स्टूडेंट द एनर्जी इज ऑलवेज कॉन्स्टेंट टोटल एनर्जी रिमेन द सेम बट वन फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू अनदर फॉर्म एंड द फ्री फॉल ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट और यू आर राइडिंग ए रोलर कोस्टर स्टूडेंट द इंटर कन्वर्शन ऑफ कनेटिक एंड पोटेंशियल कंटिन्यूज बट एट एनी पॉइंट एट एनी पॉइंट स्टूडेंट यू कैन कैलकुलेट द सम ऑफ द कनेटिक एंड पोटेंशियल एनर्जी will always be the same thus a continuous uh, transformation of gravitational and kinetic energy is going on but what is happening total energy is constant this is called law of conservation of energy next time we will be solving more questions on it students so so okay then bye bye we'll see you in the next class i hope you enjoyed the session students bolo yes maza yes. aaya अच्छा ठीक है आप अपने फ्रेंड्स को शेयर कीजिए और ये सारे वीडियो सब देखेंगे आपकी भी बातें सुनेंगे और आपके आंसर भी सुनेंगे और हमारा इंटरेक्शन ओके देन वील सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास थैंक यू सो ऑल राइट स्टूडेंट्स बाय बाय